about this sonnet, uh, I find it really relatable because I think, especially in the first half, it deals with a place that most of us have been in at one point or another in our lives. Um, and that's just a place of feeling very sad and discouraged and kind of down on your luck and like nothing is ever going to get better. Um, he talks about it and I think it's true. There's a real sense of isolation in this where it can feel like you're not worthy and that can be a really difficult place to be in especially when it can feel like you look around and everyone else has it together and is you know perfect and doing everything right um so in the second half when he he brings up this person that he really loves and cares about and this is a person who kind of brings back some of that light and some of that hope that things can and will get better um, and I think it's important to note that although it, it sounds like it, it, that this person doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic love. This can be, you know, anyone in our lives that we care about, that care about us, and that we have that connection with. And in reading this sonnet especially, I find it very comforting and very important to remember that we have these people all around us, whether it feels like it or not, in our lowest moments. And these are people that we can lean on to remind us that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, that things will get better. And at the end of the day, no matter how lonely you feel, you are never alone. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble death heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy, contented least. Yet in these thoughts, myself almost despising, happily I think on thee, and then my state, like to the lark at break of day, arising from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered, such wealth brings, that then I scorn to change my state with kings.